So let's move to the third question. Limit as x tends to zero. X minus sine x over x sine x. So now, if we substitute directly to the denominator, zero times sine x we give us zero. I know sine x is equal to sine zero is equal to zero. So I'm going to use the computer to differentiate. Differentiate x it gives us one, right? Minus differentiate sine x, the standard derivative, when differentiate sine x, you have to cos x, as simple as that, over. Now, we have the product. In this way, you use the product and the whole formula. But I've uh, gotten a shortcut in order for you to solve that. The shortcut is keep this constant, so let's keep x constant. Differentiate sine x, when differentiate, we have to cos x plus. Do by the other side. If I see this, we have one. Keep this constant. Sine x. So what happened was we kept this constant, differentiated the other product, which is sine x, we got cos x plus we kept this constant this time, differentiated x which is one. So this gives us um, our answer. But then we are not done. Let's substitute zero into this and see if we can stop it. There's no need to search itself. So when zero is zero times anything, this is zero. And sign zero is what? Zero. So you need an denominator will still be zero. Only fine. So we have to differentiate again. So differentiating again, um, this y prime, let's say there's a respect to y. So let's try. The friendship is being the friendship is constant to have zero. The friendship is constant to have minus 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 sine x over. We have a group of the game. So let's try the trick. x cos x. Keep this x constant. The friendship cos x minus sine x. Right? Plus. Keep cos x constant. The friendship x. Plus times one, and then plus differentiate sine x gives us what cos x. So my loop number is not equals minus sine minus gives us. So we have what sine x over minus x sine x plus cos x times one is cos x. Cos plus and minus cos x plus cos x plus cos x. So now let's try to substitute sine zero gives us what zero, and then we have zero times sine zero, it will give us zero. Here. So we can use sort of that. And then cos zero gives us one plus another cos zero gives us one. So we have zero and two. Zero and two is equal to zero. So it's very important to find that. So let's go to number four. Limit as x tends to one and next to x squared plus x minus two. So now um, let's try putting one here. We have one square gives us one plus one plus two. Two minus two gives us zero. So if you try this, it's going to give us one find the have to um, use a rule that to get the answer. So differentiating with x. When we predict the x, we have what? 1 over x. So as simple as that. Divided by everything here. So we have the ratio to x squared, we have 2x, and the ratio to x, we have plus 1. So we have 1 over x times 1 over x to x plus 1, which will give us 1 over Two x squared plus x. So since we simplified it or divide it quickly, we will be inserting one into this equation. So our answer will be what one over two in bracket one squared plus one, which is equal to one over one squared is one. One times two, two plus one.
And we have number five, which is known as t tends to zero. In bracket, one over t minus one over t squared plus one plus bracket. Now this looks like something we did here. So I will also solve this and give the answer in the comment section. If you cannot give the answer in the comment section, there will be a what's happening in the description of this video. So just click on it and you can send the screenshot that we're solving to that um, WhatsApp link. And number six, it looks like what we've done here. So as much as possible, see, I might teach you now and you feel you understand, you feel you grasp. But let me tell you, after a while, you find out you have forgotten it. One way to sharpen um, your math skills is by practice. And that's why we're giving all these questions to practice. So don't sit on it, don't just end the video like that. So this question of pregnancy. So then send it to us and we'll verify whether it's correct or not. So number six is 2x, 2 cos x plus x square minus 2 over x is powerful. If you put zero normally, you know you're going to get on fine. What you just do the hint, you keep differentiating, differentiating, differentiating till you don't have zero as a denominator. You might differentiate up five times problem. So just keep on differentiating. And then you just begin to go, you just begin as x tends to zero. So if you know you enjoyed this video, I would love you to give us a thumbs up and then subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching my channel.